example, then we do have to design an action plan. As you, you heard her say, the action plan is the most tedious and the most important thing to do as a school because that is what is going to guide you for the academic year, what you are going to do. So we made everything easy. Echo Schools International gave us a theme which is in line with the sustainable development. When nobody anywhere lives in extreme poverty, when no one goes hungry, when no one wakes in the morning asking you so we have the biodiversity and nature, that's what it's about, the biophysical and um, um, appear all things we have in our environment, being it's natural, the plants, the animals, the animals. We work on our initiative where kids, um, both in Africa and outside Ghana, can share ideas, knowledge and probably bring ideas on how they could minimize probably their carbon footprint, um, energy and all that. Or if there's a project, maybe a P4 class here has run, probably maybe a plastic free school initiative or a plastic free classroom initiative, they could share what they did with the school in the US. So they could also do the same or those they could also share what they have done to for all these kids here in China. So they could also do the Um, the main aim of this program is basically to empower young people to you know, take a stance on environmental issues. And then we give them the platform to articulate these issues, whether they want to write articles, whether they want to take a photo, whether they want to also do videos as well. Well, we all know that media is a very powerful tool, you know, if you are able to influence the minds of people, why don't we use that channel to keep on, you know, um, um, spreading the gospel of sustainability to people. schools, they start from the kids because they have a future that they have to know much about these things.